All right, so now we're gonna see if BTS Gene FME live performance is pitch corrected or not. So basically, if the vocals look similar like this, as you can see, it looks like uh, something out of a motherboard of a computer. Uh, but it, it is uh, similar to that because that is how Robot sings. So if it looks like that, if his vocals looks like that, it's most likely pitch corrected. Meaning some software in real time is snapping his notes, his vocals to the notes. Let's go. Let's go. Thus far, this is the most uh, suspicious thus far, but it's too early. What? What is this? Yep, here we can see right there and right there. What looks like pitch correction. This is definitely pitch corrected. How it just, you know, landed like it got... Uh, corrected into into the line what what is this well here is the real cheddar bazam 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 and this is live. This is supposed to be, you know, live, which, you know, is supposed to be as real as it gets, right? But, uh, yeah. And I'm saying it. These ear monitors, I've been saying this for years now. I think it's because they're using pitch correction. That's why they're using ear monitors. It's not that loud. You know, some people said they're using that because it's loud when they play and they need to be hearing themselves. I call BS on that. BTS, BS. You know how loud concerts were back in the 80s and singers just uh, sang still, you know, they still sang through that. One example is Freddie Mercury right there. Super loud, super, way louder than today. No ear monitors, nothing. I think this is because they're using pitch correction. That's why. And I also, I've said this before, I, I will say it again. How, um, you know, disconnected is this? You know, when you're live, you're supposed to connect with the crowd and they give you the energy and you give them the energy back. But this is like me having headphones on, you know what I mean? And then at the same time, you have the crowd with their phones up. What a mess. That's not what live is supposed to be. Anyways, let's get back. That's not what live is supposed to be, man. In this world. Do you see that? Right there. Zzz. It's like, yeah. It's not that far from that. Yep, right there as well. Another big one. Another big, big one. 
Nice. Bazam, 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 Bazam. It's Bazam everywhere, man. Bazam everywhere. So I love me, That's another beautiful one right there. A little bit disconnected, but it's a beautiful one. Here as well, and there, and there. What what is this? It is a pitch correction. Bazam. Bazam. Anyways, we don't need to look at more. It has been shown. And I think this was the other one I did the studio version of. Uh, which also was pitch corrected, I believe. And uh, I believe this one was as well. Now, uh, you know, some people, they get upset at this, you know. But uh, you have to analyze. Why do you get upset? Because it's not real, right? Well, you're like me. I, I get upset at not real vocals. So we're the same. But many of, of the fan bases of, of these artists that I look, look at, you know, they get upset at me, not at them who are using it. It's a little bit, you know, I'm just a messenger here. You know what I mean? And I'm actually on your side because I'm doing this so that people can, can become aware that this exists because probably 98% of people that are fans of this guy they think this is a completely natural vocals <laughs> so my job is to make people aware that yeah it's not really natural 